Welcome to Unique Living Did You. Today we're going to be doing some home decor at, at my mom's house. Yes, today I'm going to be adding some summer decor to our home. We hope you'll come along with us and get some inspiration. Friends, before we start decorating, we just want to thank Tri Treats and thank them for sponsoring today's video. Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Thank you Tri Treats for sponsoring this video. They wanted us to uh, send us another box to try. Yes, thank you Tri Treats. We're excited to try the new treats that you sent us. Let's so, get started. Let's get started. This box is from Italy. I can't wait to get started. I can't wait to see what's in it. Okay, open it and we'll see what's in there. So we got some golden sweet corn. Okay. What so else is in there? We got two packages of... What are they? Hey. We'll see what's what's in there in a second. Go ahead and see what all is in there. You got okay. Got some, I don't know what um, that is either. Crackers. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Some candies. These are supposed to be tropical flavored. And then he's got some of the and he actually had a few more of those, but he already snuck it. Yeah. A few out. And this is the cone snack. Okay, let's check it out. So you get three cards, one that tells you the facts about Italy, it tells you about each treat, and then also it includes different kind of snacks from their country. So Easton is excited to give this a try. You ready? Yes. Okay, so the first treat we're gonna try is this Cabetti wafer cookie. And this wafer is uh, richness and it has a decadent chocolate hazelnut cream that is folded between five layers of delicate, delicately crisp wafers and baked to golden perfection. So let's give this a try. Let's see. Can you get it? Need some help? Maybe you do it like this. Here, let me help. So we got, we finally got it open. Okay, so I'm gonna get one. It looks delicious. It does look good. Can you break that off? Yeah. Ready to try it too? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's actually good. That is really good. Okay, so that's a win. It's really fudgy, Kaysen. What, yeah. what would you say? Like a Nutella. It kind of tastes like Nutella. Mm hmm. Crunchy, but chocolatey, but really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try the next one. Okay, this is a chocolate Kano snack. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it is filled with chocolate no. cream. Mm. It makes a, it says it makes a great stocking stuffer. It's shaped like an ice cream cone, but mm. it's just as tasty as ice cream, but it has a crunch. Mm. Okay, give that a try. I can't wait okay. to try that. Need some help? Fill this off like that, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that looks yeah. good. Can I take the first bite? Yeah, of course. Let's see it up close. Let me see what that looks like. Show everybody. Wow, that looks delicious. Okay. It kind of looks like a brownie right here. Oh, it does? Oh, yeah. yes. Okay. But in the end. Mmm, is it delish? Try it. I know, I used to try it. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's a, there's like a little waffle cone underneath there. It's a, like a little mini ice cream cone. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Mm. Okay. Let's see what else is in there. That was really good. It tastes like candy on a cone. Yeah. Okay, so that was a uh, winner too, huh? Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, so the next snack that they sent us in this box is breadsticks. So these are crunchy in texture and savior and taste, and these breadsticks can be amazingly addictive. So give that a try. 
There you go. Okay, thank you. I am. And cheers. Cheers. Oh. Cheers. <laughs> I can sort of fight. Not bad. Mmm. Yeah, like we a, love bread. <laughs> it's like a crunchy piece of bread. <laughs> okay. I like it. Yeah, okay. Bread lover. Uh -huh. Alrighty, so there's I, I rate it nine out of ten. Okay, that's good. Okay, so they also included some candy in this box. So I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all this candy and we'll look at this too. Next thing that he sent us was some candy. They are Zots, which Easton's already got into them. I think there was actually five or six that they sent us. And then the others are tropical fruit candy. So tell them about the that those right there, Easton. These, um, well, once you suck on them for a while, it's like a fizz that comes in your mouth and it's really sour. It's really sour. So if you don't like sour, I don't consider buying these. But do you like those? Yes. You love them, don't you? Oh, okay. What favorites? about the tropical candy? These are supposed to be tropical. This one is, that one I think is orange. That's blue raspberry. That's green apple. He's already had a few of those already yeah. too. Okay. <laughs> let's let's open it up and try one for him. Try the candy. The, yeah, the tropical. Okay. Oh uh, no, I think that's just tambourine. Are they good? Mm -hmm. Is it delicious? No, let's try green apple. I think you said a lot of fun already <laughs> eating the candy. <laughs> Okay, but also in your treat box, they also give you a surprise mystery. treat from that country. So the surprise mystery snack that they sent us was this. So our surprise mystery treat from Italy is this golden sweet corn. So why don't you open that up and give that a try? Open it up like a chip bag? Yep. Okay. It has a bunch of air in <laughs> Hang on, we need some scissors. <laughs> Let's give this a try. Okay, Easton. Golden sweet corn. Ooh, it smells like corn. It tastes like corn too, doesn't it? Do you like it? Not <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. this. <laughs> it tastes like crunchy actual corn. corn. Does it taste like popcorn? No. No, just corn. No, no. Okay. It tastes like corn. All right. Well, it was That's still so much fun. Thank, Thank you, you Try treats. treats. We greatly enjoyed trying your treats. I thought they were wonderful from Italy. Y'all guys make sure and give them a try. It's a great fun snack for kids to do together. Look try funny. different things from different countries, and we really enjoyed it. Thank it's you. almost time for the candy. <laughs> Friends, before we get started with this video, Easton just wanted to show you his four-wheeler and give you a quick little ride. And yes, he always wears his helmet, but just for this quick little video, he just made a quick little lap and he's going to come back. But again, friends, I will have everything linked for Tri Treats in the description below, so I hope you'll go over and check it out. So let's get started decorating my sister's home for summer and as you can see she still has just a few spring touches but we're fixing to change all this right now and again we're not changing everything but we're kind of going to build up on what we already have so my sister's taking out this bunny and then she's going to place one of her lanterns right inside and i absolutely love this look to complete it we just pull out the tulips and then we just added in some greenery and moved it to the opposite side and I think it's absolutely perfect. Now moving up to the mantle, we did go ahead and add this banner and then one of the stars. And these are just some wood stars that I picked up at a yard sale years ago and I just love using them. But my sister's gonna use them in her home this year and I just think they are just the perfect addition to her mantle.
So moving over to the bookcase, we're gonna show you what we already have in place. We just have this vase with some baby's breath. We took another white vase at the top and just added some greenery to the books. Now my sister is gonna add these stars right next to this one vase with the baby's breath. And then to the other side, she's just gonna add this white pear. Moving down to the next shelf, she's gonna add in this patriotic sign that I made years ago. She's gonna add that right there. And then to the very bottom, she's just gonna add the flags in this white vase. To add just another touch right over here on her console table, she has this vintage or antique little butter dish that looks like a cloche. She's just going to add some stars and then add the top back on. I think that is so pretty and that dish is just absolutely gorgeous. And moving over to her chair, I think the only touch that she's going to do right there is just add in a patriotic pillow. Moving into just her dining room area, she has this little table. And so we thrifted this really gorgeous lamp, lamp, I'll get the words out in a minute, at a thrift store. And so she absolutely loves that. And then she has this Lazy Susan. And on top of that, my sister just added some books, this really pretty glass container with a fern, and then just this bird. And then to complete this look, the only other thing she's going to add is this paper mache star. I think this look is so pretty. So friends, my sister and I love this arrangement and we've left it for such a long time, but I think it's time to change it up, but not completely. So I think our goal is, is just to pull out some of these brighter colors we're going to leave in the white and the blue and then we're going to build up on top of that and that's just a great tip sometimes we don't always have to start from scratch we can actually just build upon what we already have so let me show you what that arrangement looks like friends i absolutely love this arrangement i think it is so gorgeous my sister added these calla lilies and hydrangeas and it's just the perfect summer touch. It's elegant and yet scream summer. So what better way to kick off summer than to have some patriotic candy in some apothecary jars? That's exactly what my sister did right here. And the other big one, she just added some flags. And Easton is going to love this display best of all.
So now let me show you my sister's kitchen. I love her beautiful kitchen. And as you can see on top of her refrigerator, we just moved that dough bowl that was sitting on the table previously and put that on top of her refrigerator. She's added a wreath and a lantern with some candles. Now let's add in some more patriotic decor. And so this is a sign that I made years ago. My sister is just going to add this right in front of her cutting boards. And then she's just using some red apples, which is perfect for your summer decor. And then again, she's just going to add the star to our mother's uh, cookbook. And I think that is a perfect touch. Now let's move over to the other countertop that is right on the other side of her refrigerator. And as you can see, she's placed another apothecary jar with a candle with just some stars all around. Then she has another wood star she's placed and now she's going to place this really precious picture of Easton. And friends, this is from the first video that we posted to YouTube a couple of years ago. It was one of my most favorite uh, videos that we made. It's not the best because it was the first, but you know, I hope that you guys will go over and give that video a watch. I will have it linked for you guys in the description below. It's one of our very favorites. So the last place my sister is going to decorate is right here. And I think this is probably my favorite of all. This is something that I got for her off of Facebook Marketplace. I was able to score one and I found one for my sister as well. But we're going to place that right there. And on top of that, we're just going to add an arrangement where she took some more calla lilies, some greenery, and out of those tulips that we took out of the other arrangement and put them right here. Then to complete the look, she's just going to add a smaller little picture with a flag and then just a star. It's so simple, but I think it turned out so pretty. Friends, let us just show you the overall look of my sister's home decorated for summer. Now, I'm not going to show you her whole house today, but I am going to show you her living room, her dining room, and her kitchen area. And I just think everything has turned out so pretty. And friends, we both decorate with a lot of patriotic decor, decor during the summer. And I hope if you love the red, white, and blue as much as we do, I hope you'll go ahead and pull that out so you can enjoy it because the 4th of July will be here before we know it.
Friends, we appreciate you watching so very much, and I hope you'll leave us a comment and let us know what your favorite part of today's video was that we decorated. But um, again, we just want to give a big thank you to Tri Treats for sponsoring today's video. Again, remember that I will leave their information linked in the description below for you guys, and I hope you'll go over and check them out. I think those gifts would be so fun for your grandkids, your children. It's just a fun thing to do as a family. But guys, before we go, Eason just wanted to say thank you for watching. And friends, we want to leave you with this beautiful Bible verse. You will seek me and find me when you search for me with all of your heart. Jeremiah 29, 13. Friends, do you realize that the Lord wants all of our hearts? It's even that part that he just brought to your mind. So friends, don't shut him out, but instead ask him to reveal to you how he wants you to proceed in that area. Open your heart to him fully, and then you'll find him drawing near in a way that you never imagined possible. Friends, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you, and we look forward to seeing the next one. Bye, y'all.